come back, our next guest has transformed the sport of snowboarding, making it a must-see event with over 30 years of experience and the most Olympic gold medals won by anyone in the sport. Let's just say it, he's the best snowboarder in the world. But then he said goodbye to the sport, <laughs> professionally at least, and now he's expanding his empire, the recent launch of his lifestyle brand, White Space. Everybody joining us in the studio now, three-time Olympic gold medalist, snowboarder, Sean White. Welcome, sir. <laughs> How's, uh, Thanks for having me. How's retirement treating you? It's been great, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I, I told my girlfriend, I was like, let's just go. Like, line it up. So we've been doing a bunch of traveling <laughs> and hanging, and um, that was nice. And then, you know, like any vacation, is, it ends. And, oh. and, um, and, you know, this brand has really, like, been there for me, you know, to pour, pour all my effort into. So it's been really fun. Are you going to pull a Tom Brady? You gonna, oh, you going to come goodness. out of retirement at any point? <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's been <laughs> such a fun thing. I, I was just mentioning earlier, I was, I was in Switzerland. I'm like testing the products and hanging out and all my competitors were there and I'm still, so it's not like I had to leave summer camp. Like I'm still in the mix. I'm, <laughs> ah, so I'm you did So you hear that. He didn't say yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. That was a nice uh, middle, middle of the road answer there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with my decision. Honestly, you said you were it was pretty a great happy run. Earlier. Pretty well, happy. you always want a little more. <laughs> Get him, Rose. Get him. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> He's coming out of retirement. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, you, what is that? You hear that from so many folks, right? When they retire, they start to miss that. We use Tom Brady as kind of example. It's kind of funny there, but a lot of people just miss it so much. And I think it was from what the line from your mom said, you could have retired after one gold medal and that would have yeah, been yeah. fine. She was content. They were like, what is, you know, I remember this, I called them like, I think it's over. I'm retiring. She's just like, we were good after one goal. Oh, wow, you know, like um, this was all you, you wanted to prove something, you know, oh. but, um, but yeah, it's been an amazing run. I mean, five Olympics. And now what's so great is like I'm developing these products and where I'm on the other side of the coin now. It's really fun because I'm I'm actually out looking at new young talent yeah. to maybe potentially ride for the brand and you know, shape their careers as well. Yeah, tell so us really about cool. White Space. Well, what are the products? What, what yeah. are you doing? What are you, well, what are you building? Yeah, it's so fun. I mean, well, you know, White Space, my name, but, it, you know, truly the meaning is a blank canvas. And that's mm. what's so fun about the sport is like you have to invent the tricks to make you the best. And um, so we came out with like a really small line of things, uh, uh, three boards, outerwear, some goggles, underlayer, things like that. You're talking about the young talent yeah. out there that you get to recruit now. What do you see out there talent-wise? And what would you tell a parent or a young person who, uh, I mean, you got to have certain resources. You need to be close yeah. enough to somewhere where you can actually practice this stuff. But what yeah. does the future of snowboarding look like? Well, it's a mix. I mean, it's a great, great question because for me, obviously, like I was able to grow with the sport. Mm -hmm. At the time, snowboarding wasn't much. I mean, I, we told my school district, like, I'm going to be a pro snowboarder. They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, you know. And nowadays, you have the Olympics. You have these major events. There's a lot more money in the sport. Um, so, and, and we didn't live near the mountains. I grew up in San Diego. Mm -hmm. I had asthma. I was born with a heart condition. Yeah. And so I ended up finding these sports, falling in love with it. And um, that was my niece, actually, full circle. Mm. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, no, if you want to make it happen, you know, you just <laughs> you make it. it happen. You get to the mountains. And, um, and that's what really brought my family together. My mom snowboards, my dad. We wow. do it together. They're not like yelling at me from the sidelines of the field, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, go up, have fun. Get a helmet for sure. Yep. And uh, yeah, get a white space snowboard. That's going to help. That. That's going to help. Nice little product placement there. You've competed in five Olympics. We were together in mm. uh, South Korea. I remember oh, sitting yeah. down with you yeah. and watching you. It was just incredible, incredible to see. Y y do you have another Olympics in you or you you're absolutely not going to go back? No. <laughs> She's not going to let this go. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that it's not HD, right? I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I'm so happy with the decision, honestly. It's been, it's been hard to let go, honestly. It is something that I've just done my whole life. Yeah. It's that, that routine, that, that thing you wake up and it gets you through the day because you have a goal. Um, but I'm shifting my time and focus. And I've actually asked a lot of other athletes. I'm like, what, you know, give me some advice. So like, don't stop working out. Mm. Like, stay motivated, stay in the gym. And then they're like, be comfortable with the nothingness for a moment. Like, really surrender to it because you're going to want to fill that void in your life with something new immediately like oh we gotta we gotta get it moving but um i'm really trying to take the time and 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 you know settle into yeah because athletes yeah. talk about that depression that follows yeah, once yeah. either you age out of the sport or you mm -hmm. no longer can compete at the level that yeah. you competed at and nowadays i mean obviously you know mental health these things are being discussed yeah. and it's so nice to you know not feel you know, uh, uncomfortable about calling another athlete and be like, hey, this is what I'm going through, yeah. you know, and, and they're there for you. So I've had some amazing advice, um, you know, a few people here and there. But um, yeah, so far I'm letting it, I'm letting it sink in and I'm 
I'm happy with what it. What year was Korea? The uh, 2018. Was 2018. 2018. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that wasn't yeah. so long ago. How, I can't remember. How was the hair in 2018? It was shorter. It, it was, was shorter. Okay. After the, the Vancouver Games, I was okay. like, if I do one more Olympics like this, I'm, I can't to cut it. It's going to be, you know. Oh, there you <laughs> so there be there my, you know, is. this is how I'm known. <laughs> we, yeah. We had to bring that I up. I do miss the hair on, on occasion. Well, man, you look great. You sound great. Congrats on White Space, man. Thank and you. it's Thank always you. good to have you. Always awesome. good to see you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.